evolution or creation? Facts and the truth. Truth. You. Should. Know. Presented by Lori Dharma. Theory of Evolution by Charles Darwin What is the Theory of Evolution by Charles Darwin? Charles Darwin was a British naturalist who proposed the theory of biological evolution by natural selection. Darwin defined evolution as descent with modification, the idea that species change over time, give rise to new species, and share a common ancestor. Darwinism soon came to stand for an entire range of evolutionary, and often revolutionary, philosophies about both biology and society. One of the more prominent approaches, summed in the 1864 phrase Survival of the Fittest by Herbert Spencer, later became emblematic of Darwinism. The first living organism, could it be developed from lifeless matter? In other words evolution theory believes that the first living organism developed from lifeless matter. Then it reproduced, it changed into different kinds of living things, eventually producing all forms of plant and animal life exists on this earth. Do you know theory of evolution is based on unreliable evidence? A related objection is that evolution is based on unreliable evidence, claiming that evolution is not even well evidenced. Typically, this is either based on the argument that evolution's evidence is full of frauds and hoaxes, that current evidence for evolution is likely to be overturned as some past evidence has been, or that certain types of evidence are inconsistent and dubious. theory of evolution now considered, out, of, date, and erroneous. Related objection is that evolution is based on unreliable evidence, claiming that evolution is not even well evidenced. Typically, this is either based on the argument that evolution's evidence is full of frauds and hoaxes, that current evidence for evolution is likely to be overturned as some past evidence has been, or that certain types of evidence are inconsistent and dubious. It has also been claimed that certain former pieces of evidence for evolution which are now considered out of date and erroneous. Improbability and Objection by Astrophysicist Fred Hoyle A common objection to evolution is that it is simply too unlikely for life, in its complexity and apparent design, to have arisen by chance. It is argued that the odds of life having arisen without a deliberate intelligence guiding it are so astronomically low that it is unreasonable not to infer an intelligent designer from the natural world, and specifically from the diversity of life. A more extreme version of this argument is that evolution cannot create complex structures. The idea that it is simply too implausible for life to have evolved is often wrongly encapsulated with a quotation that the probability of life originating on Earth is no greater than the chance that a hurricane, sweeping through a scrapyard, would have the luck to assemble a Boeing 747 A claim attributed to astrophysicist Fred Hoyle and known as Hoyle's fallacy. Evolution and Fossils Evolution could be falsified by many conceivable lines of evidence, such as The fossil record showing no change over time Confirmation that mutations are prevented from accumulating in a population Or Observations of organisms being created supernaturally or spontaneously J.B.S. Haldane, was a British scientist who worked in physiology, genetics, evolutionary biology, and mathematics. When asked what hypothetical evidence could disprove evolution, replied fossil rabbits in the Precambrian era. 
numerous other potential ways to falsify evolution have also been proposed. Eight. Scientists worldwide have unearthed and catalogued some 200 million large fossils and billions of microfossils. Many researchers agree that this vast and detailed record shows that all the major groups of animals appeared suddenly and remained virtually unchanged, with many species disappearing as suddenly as they arrived. The facts leads to one undeniable conclusion. The evidence accumulated over many decades has forced evolution to withdraw on many fronts. Facing the facts honestly leads to only one conclusion. As the Bible long ago declared, know that Jehovah is God. It is He that has made us, and not we ourselves. Psalms 103 Intelligent Design in the Complexity of the Universe and the Human Body You will no doubt agree, looking more closer to the natural world, we can see an intelligent mind behind all creation. More you examine the complexities of the human body and its symbiosis relationship with Earth and how this relationship supports the idea that the Earth was best prepared for life could not have happened by chance. It has to be by an intelligent and powerful creator. The Earth only an astronomical object known to harbor life. Our Earth is it a product of blind chance or is it a creation of an intelligent designer? Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only astronomical object known to harbor life. While large volumes of water can be found throughout the solar system, only Earth sustains liquid surface water. About 71% of Earth's surface is made up of the ocean, dwarfing Earth's polar ice, lakes, and rivers. The remaining 29% of Earth's surface is land, consisting of continents and islands. Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field truly are marvels of design that are still baffles scientists to fully understand. The same could be said of the cycles that sustain life on this planet. Do you agree the human's body is the product of purposeful design? The human body composed of many different types of cells that together create tissues and subsequently organ systems. They ensure homeostasis and the viability of the human body. The human body performs incredibly complex functions on a daily basis. The wonders of the human body are evidence of a very intelligent designer and creator. Our bodies are composed of amazingly complex organs like the eye, the kidney and the liver. And the human brain itself makes the most advanced computers of today. What about the natural cycles, such as water, carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen cycles? The water cycle involves the exchange of energy, which leads to temperature changes. When water evaporates, it takes up energy from its surroundings and cools the environment. When it condenses, it releases energy and warms the environment. This water cycle process has an influence on our climate. The evaporative phase of the cycle also purifies water which then replenishes the land with fresh water. The flow of liquid water and ice transports minerals across the globe. It is also involved in reshaping the geological features of the Earth, through processes including erosion and sedimentation. The water cycle is also essential for the maintenance of most life and ecosystems on the planet. The Natural Nitrogen Cycles Life on Earth depends on the production of organic molecules as proteins. The majority of Earth's atmosphere 78% is atmospheric nitrogen making it the largest source of nitrogen. Lightning converts nitrogen into compounds that plants can absorb. Then plants incorporate those compounds into organic molecules. 
Animals that eat those plants thus also acquire nitrogen. Eventually when plants and animals die, the nitrogen compounds in them are broken down by bacteria. That process of decay releases nitrogen back into the soil and atmosphere, completing the cycle. Our Earth is beaming with variety of life. Did these spectacular variety of life emerge by chance? No doubt you would agree with what the Bible recorded many years ago. How many your works are, O Jehovah? All of them in wisdom you have made. The earth is full of your productions. Psalms 104, 24 Our planet is magnificently designed for life to exist. Earth has abundant water essential for life to survive. The Earth is floated in the universe at a tilt to rotate, and orbit just right to prevent the oceans from severely freezing or becoming very hot and boiling away. The Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field protects life from deadly radiation. The plant and animal life are complementary on Earth is simply astonishing. Many observing the way life beaming on Earth with the right environment have concluded that our planet was designed for a purpose by an intelligent mind. Isaiah 45 18 If every house is constructed by someone, who constructed the Earth and living creatures? The Bible states that life on Earth is the product of an intelligent mind. The Bible reminds us the logic behind the true facts, of course, every house is constructed by someone, but he that constructed all things is God. Hebrews 3 4. Another Bible reminder says, How many your works are, O Jehovah? All of them in wisdom you have made. The earth is full of your productions. There are moving things without number, living creatures, small as well as great. Psalms 104, 24. 25. God's Word The Bible or Evolutionist? Whom do you trust? Do you still trust the claims of those who say that there is no intelligent creator and that the Bible is unreliable? Are you willing to examine what the Bible actually says about our intelligent creator? Which teachings are worthy of your examination, the Bible or those of evolutionists? If evolution is true, your life will be meaningless. If, evolution were true, it would seem reasonable to live by the bleak catchphrase, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we are to die. 1 Corinthians 15 32. If what the Bible says is true, life does have meaning. Our Creator has a loving purpose that extends to all who choose to live in accord with His will. Ecclesiastes 12 13. That purpose includes the promise of life in a world free of chaos, conflict, and corruption, and even free of death. Psalms 37, 10, 11, Isaiah 25, 6 to 8. With good reason, millions of people around the world believe that learning about God and obeying Him give meaning to life as nothing else can. John 17, 3. Such a belief is not based on mere wishful thinking. The evidence is clear life was created.
Life is created, and not a product of an explosion. Read the brochure Was Life Created? To strengthen your beliefs the creator download the brochure Was Life Created? Lovingly produced by JW.org This brochure considers few questions as follows. Was our planet designed for life? What can we learn from the designs evident in nature? Is the teaching of evolution based solidly on fact? Has science disproved the Bible's account of creation? Why does it matter what you believe? There are ample evidence in the Bible to prove life on earth is created by an intelligent creator Jehovah. To find the truth about the Creator, start your study of the Bible today. Learning about God and obeying Him give meaning to life as nothing else can. John 17, 3 The evidence is loud and clear life was created. Click the link in the description to access the introduction to Bible study brochure Enjoy Life Forever. Thank you for watching our video. Our videos are made for educational purpose only. Subscribe to my channel to watch more of our videos on Bible truths, like Share Subscribe Feedback With, God, is the source of life. Psalms 36, 9 Watch my other videos in my channel.